In this video we are going to discuss about the topic e-waste. More precisely electronic waste. E-waste refers to electronic products nearing the end of their useful life. Electronic waste may be defined as discarded computers, office electronic equipment, entertainment devices, phones, television sets and refrigerators. The used electronics which are destined for reuse, Resale, salvage, recycling or disposal are also considered as e-waste. But, is this waste really the worst thing? What are the after-effects of these e-hills? Why should we be concerned about e-waste? Electronic waste is not just waste. It contains some very toxic substances, such as mercury, lead, cadmium, brominated flame retardants, etc. The toxic materials can cause cancer, reproductive disorders and many other health problems, if not properly managed. Also materials, are complex and have been found to be difficult to recycle in an environmentally sustainable, manner. Hence it's necessary for us to think about solutions to, overcome this. But before that let's discuss more reasons for this so as to find better solutions, for the same. Nowadays electronics are part of modern life desktops laptops, cell phones, refrigerators, TVs, and a growing number of other gadgets. Every year we buy new, updated equipment to satisfy our needs. More than 300 million computers and 1 billion cell phones are produced every year. All of these electronics goods become obsolete or unwanted. Often, within two or three years of purchase. This global mountain of waste is expected to continue growing at 8% per year. Rapid changes in technology, changes in media, falling prices and planned obsolescence have resulted in a fast-growing surplus of electronic waste around the globe. It is estimated that 50 million tons of e-waste are produced each year. Only 15-20% to of e-waste is recycled. The rest of these materials go directly into landfills and incinerators. Time to note down some solutions for this problem now. The best method to solve this problem is the correct and systemized management of e-waste. E-waste should be disposed of and collected separately so that they can be recycled. Also, always try to prefer exchange of older electronics over new one rather than buying new products and dumping the older ones in stores which offer much for waste bins. Exchange of older ones would help in recycling and reusing undamaged parts, pieces and chemicals. We should also try to look forward to sustainable developments in electronic industries in which harmful hazardous chemicals and elements can be replaced by harmless ones. So finally let's conclude everything in one page. Electronic waste or e-waste describes discarded electrical or electronic devices. Used, electronics which are destined for refurbishment, reuse, resale, salvage recycling through, material recovery or disposal are also considered e-waste. The harmful chemicals present in these waste materials can cause many lethal problems, as well as these wastes containing mainly plastics and other non-biodegradable wastes are major reasons for the unsustainability of ecosystems both in land and water. E-waste can be managed by many methods, like proper waste disposal and sustainable developments in electronic industries. Always remember that industrial developments and upgrading electronic gadgets are so helpful to ease human works but would be more difficult if we cross our limits. Okay then let's end this video so as to give time for every one of us to think.